yeah. just like macros may not be the way to go for everybody, right? If you're not prepared to spend a, a good bit of time in your meal prep and in your tracking, then maybe you're better off starting with calories and focusing on, on a single macro. That way you can kind of ease into it. That's what I do with a lot of my clients. I mean, I wrote a prescription up for a lady yesterday. Um, you now I was like, hey, we're gonna reverse diet you out. You've been you know, metabolically adapted un under eating for so long. So here's your calorie count, your daily, here's your weekly calorie count. And then I need you to hit protein. That's all we're focused on right now. The rest of the calories will fall in where they may, and that's fine. I need you to hit that number. Right. Because ultimately, it is very much, it's very individualistic. And that's where having a coach who can help you understand how your body's responding, you know, what, what, what you feel better doing. It's like so some people feel better on high carbs, some people feel better on lower carbs, you know, higher proteins and fats. Right. Um, it just depends kind of, and there's, there's a lot of trial and error there and a lot of having to make sure that you've got a trusted source who can help guide you through that. So to the point of, of your earlier comment on, you know, understanding all the things out there, take it to a one-on-one level on defining, you know, macros, how do, so people can kind of get started. Right. Down. So the, the theory behind macros is that it's very much, it falls in the category of calories in, calories out, right? If you're in it, if you are, if your maintenance is, I mean, just easy round numbers, but like if you're burning or if you're, BMR, basal metabolic rate is 2,000 calories. So if you waking up, if you laid in bed all day long just to breathe and stay alive, you burn 2,000 calories. And then, you know, you've got your desk job and you've got, you know, you pick your kids up from school, things like that. So you got to figure out kind of what your total daily energy expenditure is, your TDEE. -E. That's how then you can define your macros from there. There's a couple of ways you can do that because you got to worry about your BMR, which is the basal, metabo basal metabolic rate, what you burn just being alive every day. Not day to day life, that's just you waking up and your body, the bodily functions working. Mm -hmm. okay. Then you've got your NEAT, which is non exercise activity. So that's playing with your kids, that's your job, that's going to the grocery store, things like that. Then you've got your EAT, which is your exercise activity. And then the last piece is the thermic effect of food. Um, and the thermic effect of food, you, you have no control over. Basically the principle there is that certain, certain types of foods and certain makes makeup of food, your body burns calories, can, uh, processing those foods. It's so like protein, even though, you know, a gram of protein is four calories, it's at, but your body ends up burning like 30% of that just to process it. So if you eat a higher protein diet, that's why most people who are trying to burn fat are gonna have a higher protein diet because they will burn more calories through the thermic effect of food.